1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6 through 13 says, Yet we do speak wisdom among those who are mature, a wisdom, however, not of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. But we speak God's wisdom in a mystery, in a hidden wisdom which God predestined before the ages of our glory, the wisdom which none of the rulers of this age has understood. For if they had understood it, they would have not crucified me, Lord of God. But just as it is written, Things which the eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, and which have not entered the heart of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. For to us God revealed them through the Spirit. But the Spirit searches all things, even the depths of God. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the Spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, the thoughts of God no one knows except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may know things freely given to us by God, which things we also speak, not in words taught by human wisdom, but in those taught by the Spirit, combining spiritual thoughts with spiritual words. The gift of wisdom is a very interesting and powerful gift. We tend to give credit to our elders for being older and knowing more things because they've experienced more, maybe they've read more, and maybe they've had more uh, wisdom throughout time. But as we read in our scripture today, wisdom isn't necessarily about worldly wisdom. There's a difference between wisdom that the world gives and the truth that is the Spirit of God, the truth that is Christ. And when we resound in our spirit, when we discern wisdom from God himself, that is the spiritual gift of wisdom. The gift of wisdom as a spiritual gift is not just knowing a bunch of things or knowing the right thing to do or knowing the right thing to say. It is the spirit working inside you to make those things happen. As we've talked about before, the difference between practical gifts and having a skill versus that spiritual gift inside of you. In our book here, it says, the gift of wisdom is the distinctive ability to discern the mind of Christ, which apply spiritual truth in specific situations in order to make the right choices and help others move to the right decision. So what happens is wisdom is prompted in our hearts or spoken to us, either as leaders or as friends or as people, to speak that into someone else's life or to help us along our journey, helping God be glorified through it. As always, I'd like you to uh, just watch the spiritual gift videos that are resounding in your spirit and speak to you. God's gift is the Holy Spirit itself. We all have the potential for every spiritual gift, but God calls us to use certain spiritual gifts in certain ways and has called you specifically. So watch the ones simply for you. You could get overwhelmed or overloaded if you watch all of the gift videos. As always, it would be wonderful if you were to like and subscribe to our videos. Um, leave a comment because commenting, liking, and subscribing helps the YouTube algorithm allow us to spread our YouTube channel to uh, the greater community. It allows people to be able to see them and view them more often as it gets more of those types of um, notifications. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.